anybody that's been uh, working on engines or anything mechanical or say even electrical or uh, <laughs> where precision and accuracy is involved knows what kind of nightmare quality control is turning into in North America. This engine just seems to exacerbate that problem, especially in the camshaft area. But uh, the pistons were sort of the same problem. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this engine has taken an enormous amount of time to build, not because it was difficult or because of the decisions I made uh, when I first ordered the pistons. Um, no problem. They're an off-the-shelf item. They're not custom-made. Uh, but when they were ready, I got a phone call from my supplier, said the uh, pistons are now recalled because there was a chemistry problem with the uh, blanks that were used to uh, machine the forgings with. And we find out the blanks are, well, from China. So that delayed this engine build for another, oh, I think close to, was it 12 weeks or longer? before I got this new set of pistons. And I mean, it just as well it turned out that way. I'd rather put in, I'd rather have the time waiting for the time uh, for a defective part to, to, you know, to be fixed and uh, get the right part rather than build an engine, fire it up and then find out there's a recall afterwards. And who knows what would happen with the p particular piston and the aluminum chemistry that went into them. And like I say, two camshafts in this engine, uh, and I've and all I, I've been told by my engine builder friends and stuff that uh, I'm on borrowed time because I've been very lucky. I've had no camshaft failures. I'm very methodical and very thorough when I build them, but I find that anything with a uh, valve spring seat presser, say over 130 psi now, anything 130 pounds, you're into the high risk area of just destroying the camshafts. These flat tap it hydraulic grinds. And that never used to be the way in the past. Uh, not at all. And then when you have companies asking you whether you want to spend extra to nitrite or harden the camshaft, you know there's something funky going on. Why should I be spending extra money to case harden the camshaft if the material and the chemistry is right? And the processing here, heat treating process is right. This never used to happen in the past. But it's, a, it's an epidemic now between the lifters and the camshaft grinds. And unfortunately, I don't have access to a rock well, a surface hardener, or a, a Brunel, or a Vickers machine like I used to when I worked in the labs, because then I'd be able to uh, do that testing and I could do ASTM testing to check the, grains, the grain structure of these camshafts and lifters just to see what's going on with them. But unfortunately, I don't have access to that equipment anymore. Anyways, it's a, it's a really interesting build. I'd, I'd love to, I'm trying to talk the owner or the, the buyer of this engine to put it on the dyno. I would love to know what kind of horsepower this engine's making with this quench head and the 915 castings. This, uh, I think it's a stout little build and there's no way to really do desktop dyno with it. It's too, <laughs> there's nothing there to, to put the info in to make it accurate. Uh, Anyways, can neat little piece, and you know, for the most part, it does look stock. I'll fire it up for you. to get in there and do some more carburetor tuning. They're a little finicky, right? that. That's the trouble with the test stand. I can't put the engine under load. But 
a sweet little motor. I'm not so sure too many people are going to fall for it uh, as stock though. Sweet little setup, but they're a pain in the ass. If anybody's interested in what kind of recipe I used uh, for pistons. Uh, block dimensions, that kind of stuff. They can email. I'll be glad to share it with you. It's not a, it's not a corporate or a state secret. But you're going to have to have access to the 915 heads, both chambered heads. This setup won't work with a uh, aluminum head. And there's no reason to try to run it with aluminum head because you want the compression. I wanted pump gas friendly 9.5 to 1, and that's what I got with this engine. Anyways, thanks for your time. Appreciate it.